Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for dropping in. I had someone ask me a question on TikTok and I wanted to bring it over here. So they asked, their specific person actually came back and asked them on a date, but they didn't come back as the way that they wanted them. So they denied the date and they're asking if they made the right choice. So really, if you have the perfect self-concept, you're so confident, you should never accept anything into your reality that you do not want. So in this situation, I say absolutely yes. Only accept exactly what you desire into your reality. Never accept anything less. If you accept anything less, you're actually settling and this is not good. This is going to display lack to the universe and your subconscious and it's going to completely, it's going to give you what you want, but you're going to be unhappy with it. So in this life, always make sure you're asking for and you're going for exactly what you want. Kind of like the thought of the taxi driver that I talk about in one of my YouTube videos, or I mean my TikTok videos, it's actually from Joseph Murphy. So he talks about how if you don't put details or give your subconscious details, it's like going into a taxi driver and not exactly giving them the correct destination. You're going to be spewing out a bunch of different directions. They're going to follow it for a little bit. And then at one point, they're just going to stop the car and look back and say, hey, where it is that you want to go? And you're going to be completely be stopped. So metaphorically, this might be a time in your life that you feel confused and you feel depressed and you just feel like you're stagnant. And that's because you're not giving the correct directions for your subconscious to actually follow. Now, if you're accepting something in your reality that's less than what you want, that might be like giving out kind of directions and the taxi, the taxi driver is like, well, did you mean this? And you're like, oh, well, I guess I'll accept that because it's kind of like what I wanted. No, you should only accept exactly what you want in this reality. You, you can do absolutely anything. There's nothing that's impossible for you. Believe in yourself. Know that you're the creator of this reality. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If anyone says, oh, that's impossible, that can't be done, be like the girl in that question on TikTok and say, no, this is what I deserve and I'm going to get it because each and every one of you deserve exactly what you want and in this reality, you can have it. So I hope this pep talk is working. Go ahead and write something down right now. Write down exactly what you want. Don't think about any limitation if you want to breathe underwater, that's possible, write it down. If you want a specific person that is handsome, tall, rich, ha is nice, kind, is a doctor, literally don't think about anything that's that could, don't think about it being limited because you can have all of that. If you just ask for all of that, you're going to receive it and you're going to be really happy about it. And again, don't accept anything into your reality that you do not want. So Neville Goddard actually has kind of a story that's like this. Not like this. It is exactly like this. So he knew of someone who wanted to rent out a certain place for free. They didn't want to pay any money for it at all. So the specific place that they walked by, they want to open a shop. If you know this story... I'm kind of going off memory. So they want to open a shop and they, every time they walked by the shop, they said, that's my shop and I'm going to own it for free. So doing this, obviously their manifestation is going to come true. They felt it. They knew that they would own that shop. So they actually got, the owners came over and said, I don't know why, but I feel like I should offer you the shop. We're actually selling it for a blank amount of money. And she said, no, because she didn't want it for any money. She wanted it for free. So she said, no, thank you. And in her mind, she knew that she was getting it for absolutely free. So time goes by. She walks by it again. And the shop owner actually comes up to her again. and's like, oh, I had, you're the person I offered this shop to. Um, would you take it for less half the money? And she's like, mm, no. Obviously, in 
really this would cause you to reevaluate your thoughts. You'd be like, well, should I take less than what I wanted? But she said, no, she had it for free. She knew in her mind that it was free to her. So she wasn't going to pay a single penny for it. So then finally, I think you know where this story is going. The shop owner, so time passes. The shop owner, she's walking by again every day, looking at it, knowing that that is her shop and that she's not paying anything for it. The shop owner comes by and literally gives it to her for free. You guessed it. She got her manifestation. She was persistent. She didn't accept anything less and she got exactly what she wanted. Go through life this way. I know it doesn't sometimes seem like there's a direct path to your goals, but it doesn't matter if there's a direct path to your goal. Your subconscious is going to create one. Just like um, Wallace Waddles states in The Science of Success, it's another manifestation book. He states that it's going to take you, your subconscious will take you down the direct path to what you want, no matter what. And if there is no path, it will actually manifest it right in front of you before your eyes. Now, sometimes with limiting beliefs, that's hard to think about, but it is absolutely true. As soon as you want something, your whole reality is going to start working. People are going to start moving. Um, objects get put in place. Whole mountains will move for you just to get what you want. So when something comes up in your reality and offers you to take kind of like a buyout, so you don't really get what you want. You say, no, I know in my mind what I want and what I desire. And this actual confidence will be translated and reflected in your 3D. It's so awesome. You all should do this. Have confidence in yourself. Know that you can do it. I know you can do it. So we all know that you can create anything in your reality, but just start to believe it yourself and you're going to see massive change happen. So hopefully during this video, I don't know if you even had time to grab a piece of paper. Hopefully you wrote down exactly what you wanted with just write it down. Don't think again about, oh, but I don't think I can have this and this at the same time. No, if you want it, write it down and you're going to get it. So hopefully you have that piece of paper. Um, use that for your scripting right now. Just write it multiple times. No, you have it. Write it in the present tense or in the past tense like you have it now or you're thinking about it in a memory because this universe and our subconscious manifest stuff, we feel like we already have. I know I was pretty, got pretty intense over this, but it, I'm so motivated. You guys are so great. You are great. You are awesome. And you deserve everything on this earth. Literally, you are supposed to get just exactly what you want. So again, if you have any other questions, hopefully you liked the video. Go ahead and post more questions in the comments or I'm going to be pulling them from my TikTok. My TikTok is Manifestation Man. Also, check out my website, kyleaugustcoaching.com if you want a personal coaching session from me. All right, I'll see you guys next time.